this video, I'm going to show you how to do the example that's shown in this slide set. 4.1.C, Mathematical Modeling, Making Predictions with Data. I'm going to show you how to do the example using Microsoft Excel. And the example starts on page 11. Start off by opening Excel. If it's not on your desktop or pinned to your taskbar, go to your search window and type in Excel, E-X-C-E-L, and it should be on the top of the list, Excel 2016. Go ahead and open it. And once it's open, pin it to your taskbar. And start up by entering some titles, some headings, I entered year, X, and sales. I'm going to select them. Select the three cells and right mouse button. Select B for bold and select this center alignment. If those menu picks aren't available to you, select the cells. And if you come up to home, you'll find them here also under center alignment. And bold is here. I'm going to type in a value. I'm going to type in 2003 for the year 2003, as shown in the slide set. I'm entering 1 here. I'm going to select both. I'm going to select this little button here and right mouse button. I'm going to pull down all the way to cell 14 and fill series. Once again, I'm going to right mouse button and I'm going to do my center alignment. Should look like this. I'm going to enter the values that are shown in the slide set. Notice I made a typo. This should be 3.24. Going to select this set of data here, 1 through 9. And I'm going to select Insert. I'm going to insert a chart. And I'm going to insert a scatter chart. Place it about right there. I'm going to select this plus chart elements and I'm going to select axis titles and that'll give me two axis titles here. I'm going to select this title and I'm going to call it year. I'm going to select this title, call it Sales. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to bold it and I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to come down and do the same thing here to the year, select it, double select it, bold and make it a bit larger. I'm going to select the chart title. Let's call it Sales Forecast. I'm going to change this axis here. I'm 
going to place my cursor over here around the zero and I'm going to double click. And notice I get this menu pick here, this menu. I'm going to select this icon here for access options. And let's hit the maximum to 13. I'm going to set the major unit to 1. And then close this window. Notice now my numbers read 1 through 13, just like on my chart here. I'm going to edit this axis here. I'm going to place my cursor over the zero here and double click. And it opens up this menu. I'm going to set that my minimum value. I'm going to set it to 2. And you notice my scale changes, and now my minimum value here is 2. close this window. I'm going to select one of these items. I'm trying to select this series of data points. I'm going to select one and right mouse button and I'm going to add a trend line. Let's make it a linear trend line. And let's go forward four points, four periods. And display equation on chart. And display the R squared value on the chart. Notice that now my equation is right here and my R squared value is shown here. You can actually move this around. See if I could drag it up here so it's a little bit better, so you could see it a little bit better. So the way you read this chart is these are your sales. You notice uh, year one, the year 2003 is year one, and sales are 2.35, and if you read across here, the value is uh, approximately 2.35, it's right here. Year 2, sales were 2.22, and if you read across, it's uh, right on the line at 2.22, and so forth. And we have data that goes out to 2011, year 9, and but for the following four years, we don't have data but we've used Excel to create a trend line. And in the slide set, they ask you to forecast what the sales will be in year 13. And the way you would find that value, you would go up this line to the forecast line and then come across. And you see it's about 3.7 and uh, close to 3.8. And that's what's shown in the slide set. But there's another way you could actually get uh, to enter numbers here, and that's by typing in this formula. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I place my cursor here, and you can either enter the formula here or here. I'm going to go ahead and enter it right here. I'm going to enter equals, and I'm getting the formula right from here. 0.1335 asterisks, that's times, I'm going to multiply times the x value plus plus 2.0269 enter. And so now here's my formula. I simply copied it from here and if you could read the formula here it's 0.1335 times B11. B11, this is B11 right here, which is 10 
plus 2.0269. And so this value here for year number 10 is 3.619. I'm going to copy this formula down to the next three rows. I can do that by selecting this little button here and just pulling it down. And it copies it, the, the formula. So if you look at this cell now, and if I double click on it, you notice it shows me the same formula that I entered up here, just copied it down. But now the x value is b14, which is this number here. I'm going to hit escape. And so this value here, the forecasted value out four years, is 3.7624. And I think that's the value that's showing in the, in the slide set. So now you're done. Use your snipping tool to capture your entire spreadsheet. And the, that should include your name also. Your name is in the upper right hand corner. So make sure you capture your name. And then uh, save your screen capture and submit it to Canvas to complete your assignment.